Hey guys! Okay, so I have quite a different look for you guys and this is definitely a way darker look than I normally do. Um, I've been obsessing over Beetlejuice lately and I guess my subconscious knew that apparently Tim Burton is talking about making a Beetlejuice 2. So I am way excited about that. I'm just obsessed with all things Beetlejuice and black and white stripes. So I really wanted to do a Beetlejuice inspired makeup look and basically what I came up with was a vibrant purple with a black kind of smoked out look with a winged liner and then underneath I had the black and white stripes going on so that's probably why it looks a little weird from far away but it looks really awesome close up and kind of in person it looks really cool far away I think the camera's just picking up weird and then I have a way darker lip than I normally wear. If you guys have any requests, any like more requests from like the movie Beetlejuice, like a lookbook or anything, just let me know. I'll probably do it anyways because I love Beetlejuice so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry the intro was long. And here you go. Bye. So first I'm starting off with priming my lid. I'm using Elf's Eyelid Primer. And then I'm just blending that out all over my, even under the lower lashes and all over my lid. Then I'm taking Ulta's Eye Crayon in Fearless, which is just this kind of violet purpley color. I'm placing that all over my lid. And this is going to be a base to help bring out more of that purple shadow we're going to use. I'm just blending that out with my finger. And then I'm using Urban Decay Sustainable Shadow Palette. And I'm using the color Flash, which is this bright purple, with a flat shader brush. And I'm just applying that all over my lid. Try to make sure you don't get it underneath. And I'm just really concentrating on trying to make sure that I really have the shadow on to the fullest impact I can. And then I'm taking a tapered crease brush and oil slick from that same palette. And I'm just going to start working that into my crease and a little bit into the outer V of my eye. And I'm switching it up with a fluffier shader brush once I put it on with the tapered crease to help blend it out a bit more. And I'm also picking up some little bit more shadow with that fluffy brush to add to darken up that black. And then using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and Kat Von D's Autograph Pencil in Pure Amore, which is just a black, I'm going to be using these to start creating the stripes on the lower lashes. And you want to make sure it's even with the other, other eye, so that's why I keep checking. And you also want to tight get your waterline right there too while you're doing this. Sorry if I make you dizzy with switching back and forth. This is the part that takes most concentration and is trying not to really blend the two. So basically I just did four and then I grabbed my Maybelline Line Stiletto which is a black liquid liner and I'm just going to start doing lining my upper lash line going all the way to the inner corner and I'm also going to wing it out And then taking a pencil brush, I'm using Inglot's White Matte Shadow. And I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eye and go over that white cream pencil from NYX that we put on our lower lash line to help set that white. And then I'm going to be trying to place some white underneath that winged liner we created. But the pencil's too thick, so if you have a smaller pen, white pencil, it'd probably be a lot easier than what I did. So I took a angled brush and that powder, the Inglot eyeshadow, and I just placed it underneath the wing. And then taking a clean other angled brush, I'm using Oil Slick. 
from Urban Decay, and I'm just going over that black pencil that we placed on our lower lashes. And then using Voluminous False Lashes from L'Oreal, I'm just applying some mascara. And then I really wanted to concentrate on the lower lashes to make the lashes contrast against the white on my lower lashes. Then using Ardell's False Lashes 138, I applied those to my eyes, but I didn't show you guys. And then I'm using Elf's Blush and Bronzer Palette. I'm just contouring my cheeks. And I went a little a bit heavier with my contour than I normally do because this is a Tim Burton look. And yeah, it was, it was good for it. And then using Ulta's blush and girly, which is just a subtle pink. I'm just applying that to my cheeks. And then I'm using Glamour Doll Eyes Lip Fiend, which is a liquid lipstick. And I'm applying that with a lip brush. And this is in the color Gavin which is a very deep violet purple. And with the dark colors, you really want to try and be careful because they're not really as forgiving if you make any mistakes. And there are the lips. I'm going to just clean them up. But this is the finished eye look with the false lashes, so now you can see it closer. And that's the full face finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And hit the like button if you did. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I hope you guys liked. Bye.